Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to transform your eyes I'm gonna show you how to make them look more lifted, more elongated Basically that Bella Hadid look It's crazy how you can enhance your features just by using some makeup So if you're bored at home and you wanna play with some makeup Grab your eyeshadows and let's just jump right into it So something that makes a huge difference that you may not think that it does But it does Is putting your hair in a ponytail Look how my face changes when I put my hair in a ponytail Check it out Before before, after. Whoa! <laughs> Before, after. I know, it's really cool. I'm just gonna put it up. Yeah. Ah. Oh my god! You can also put it in a bun if you want. Now that we have our... Oh my god! I really don't like these pieces. Oh no, it's falling apart. <laughs> you want your messy bun to be like a nest. You want it to be appealing to birds. I hate messy buns because it's like never messy enough, you know? It's either too perfect or too messy. I can't get it to the perfect point of messiness. The eyebrows are a very important part of this look. You really want to lift them. You want them to be pointing up to the neighbors above you, to the sky, to the stars, whatever you want. But the higher your eyebrow tail is, the better. To lift my brows, I'm going to use these soap brows product by Soft Barn, oh, Soft Barn Co. That spray landed on my arms and it was cooling. I really like destroying my spoolies by doing this. I don't recommend you to destroy your spoolies like that. I just find it more convenient when they're a little bit more to the side. So I'm gonna load my spoolie with some of that soap brow thing. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just lift my eyebrows. Now, as you can tell by this area of my face right here, I shouldn't have applied my foundation before I do that. So don't do the same mistake as me. But I'm gonna fix that like really quickly. Now I'm gonna take some brow powder and fill in my brows. Now, obviously, you'll be able to lift your eyebrow as much as your eyebrow shape allows you. Right? But what will really give the illusion of more lifted brows is applying some light shade of concealer or foundation or eyeshadow on your brow bone here. I'm using a very light shade of concealer, but as I said, if you don't have that light shade of concealer, you can use whatever you have, as long as it's a little bit lighter than your skin tone. You really want to brighten up this area of your eye. Now I'll go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm just using some concealer for this. This one is matching with my skin color. Makeup Geek eyeshadow in So Pale. I'm gonna take this on a flat brush and use it to set that lighter shade of concealer on my brow bone. This will add a little bit more brightness. So for today's look, I'm gonna use the Bare Necessities eyeshadow palette by Colourpop and I will start off by using the shade coat on Holiday, this one here. Why my palette is so dirty? As you can tell, I'm using a very, very big fluffy brush for this one. And I'm just buffing that in my crease. Just to add some depth. Nothing really too intense. Just a very soft shadow in my crease. I recently got this brown pencil by Fenty Beauty. Here you need to be a little bit quick. So make sure that you have your angled brush ready. Apply this pencil as closely to your lashes as possible. Now take your angled brush and blend it out. I'm gonna start off by extending it as a wing and just blending it out, you know? If you don't have brown pencil, you can also use a brown eyeshadow. But by using pencil like this one, it will make it more long lasting. So that's why I'm using this first. This brush here is very nice for blending, the Duo Fiber Blend Brush by Sigma E41. So I'm gonna take on it some of the shade called Hot Gossip from that Colourpop palette. And I will apply it right on top of that eyeliner that I just applied. And this is going to diffuse all the harsh lines, it will make it even softer. We're going for that soft, diffused look. Get rid of all the harsh lines. Now, take your angled brush and I'll grab a mixture of Krakon, this brown shade, and Taboo, this even darker brown shade. Placing that as closely to my lashes as possible. Following that guideline that I created with that eye pencil. Angled brush again, take those darker brown shades and apply that under your lower lashes. 
also you want to go ahead and connect that line with the line on your eyelid don't bring those eyeshadows all the way to the inner corner of your eyes you want to have them just in the outer part of your lower lash line and you can go ahead and blend it a little bit so that there are no harsh lines now I'm adding some contour on my face as I already said I have my foundation on, my powder so I'll go ahead and give myself some cheekbones I almost forgot to apply my concealer under my eyes you guys Huda Beauty the overachiever concealer in the shade Coconut Flakes blending it out I'm also bringing that concealer all the way up to my temples. Oh, that's a lot. This will give me that brightening, lifting effect. It doesn't have to be a harsh line though. You know, make sure that it's soft and it looks natural. Blend it out, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so you can definitely see it. And I will set my under eyes with some powder so that I lock that concealer in place. I'm using this Zoeva finishing powder in the shade Dazzling. I will place my blush a little bit higher, keeping it in this area here. I'm taking a flat brush and I'll go ahead and diffuse this line in the outer corner here because as I said, we want everything to look very soft, very diffused. Make sure that you're blending upwards like this towards your eyelid just swiping it towards your crease and your eyelid i'm moving on to my lashes i'm gonna be wearing falsies today and i'm gonna show you what to do camera why focus on me what i was saying oh yeah about the false lashes you can do the same if you're just using mascara so what you want to do is when you're using mascara apply just in the outer lashes here don't coat your lashes in the inner corner here just in the outer half and that same rule i guess <laughs> goes for the falsies you want to wear falsies just in the outer half of your eye you don't want them to be reaching your inner corner these are the lashes that i'm gonna wear today i'm gonna trim them in front of you <laughs> this side of the lash here where the lashes are longer this goes in the outer corner and where the lashes are shorter this goes in the inner corner so when you trim your lashes because you definitely should because if you don't they're going all the way to my inner corner and we don't want that today so you need to trim them i'm gonna show you how because if you don't know you can really mess them up and i don't want you to mess up your poses so the side with the longer lashes goes in the outer corner the side with the shorter lashes goes in the inner corner you want to trim from the side where the lashes are longer the outer part probably this much Ooh, I know that may seem like a lot, but see, now my lashes fit perfectly in the outer corner. Obviously, I haven't glued them on yet. Let's go ahead and do that. See how my lashes are very short here and then they're gradually getting longer and longer and longer? That's exactly the effect that we want to get. I didn't use the lashes that I show you trimming. I actually used a different pair. I'm wearing the um, velour lashes in the style here to stay. No, here to slay, sorry. Now I'll go ahead and highlight my face. Wow, that highlighter is bright. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit. We're gonna tone it down, don't worry. If you want, just like an extra step, you can take some of that eyeshadow that we used on the brow bone and you can add some of it right here on your eyelid. It's all about creating contrast, highlighting and contouring your eyes. Spray my face with the Ofra Makeup Fixer and I'll go ahead and tone down my highlighter just by pressing my sponge which i use to apply my foundation my concealer bouncing it on top of that highlighter while that um, setting spray is still wet on my face and see it looks more natural now with some of that brown eyeshadow from the ColourPop palette i'll go ahead and extend my inner corner i'll finish up this look by tie lining my waterline with some white pencil and applying some lip liner and lip gloss
Alrighty guys, and this is our final look. This is how I would do foxy eye slash cat eye. This is usually what I would do if I want to make my eyes look bigger, more lifted, more elongated. If you want to see a more intense version of this look, just check out my previous foxy eye makeup tutorial. I just wanted to also add that it's very important what kind of lashes you're using for this whole look. This look, it's like 50% eyeshadows and 50% lashes. You can definitely get a similar effect with just mascara if you're not comfortable wearing Fossies, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I love my fossies. I feel like they make a huge difference and it's really important what style of lashes you're wearing. You want to get a nice fluffy long one and a pair that the hairs in the inner corner are short, gradually getting longer towards the outer corner. Those kind of lashes work perfectly for this one. And if you can find a pair of fossies which have more thin lash bend that will also help a lot but other than that this is our final look as i already said please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching hope you learned something new today if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel i would really appreciate it if you do hit that red subscribe button don't forget to press the bell button which is right next to it because that way you'll get a notification every time i post a new video you can also find me on instagram facebook twitter i also have a second channel here on youtube and Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!